My name is Robert Ward, and I'm an applications engineer at National Instruments in the UK. For a three-month project, we were tasked with testing and characterizing an analog device's RF transceiver chip. Using the Vector Signal Transceiver, or VST for short, and PXI platform, we were able to control our device under test through SBI commands using the VST's onboard FPGA chip while simultaneously transferring RF data. As you can see here, we have a compact tabletop unit that consists of a PXIE 8115 controller and PXIE 5644R VST, which offers faster data rates and far better synchronization than your traditional rack and stack box instruments. The tight integration of hardware and software by using LabVIEW graphical programming environment allowed us to develop a modular and scalable application to produce a software designed instrument efficiently that significantly reduces development time and costs for automated testing. When we set the chip to emit RF data, this can be picked up in the RF input of the VST, and similarly, we can emit RF data out of the VST and set the chip to return digital data. Previously, this would have been done through some form of SPI control, an RF signal analyzer and an RF signal generator, using much larger chassis. It would also be harder to achieve tight synchronization across these multiple devices. Using the VST, this wasn't an issue. It is impossible to escape RF communications in the modern world. Remote control of devices are increasing in abundance. From mobile phones to Wi-Fi, the spectrum is getting increasingly crowded. Consequently, RF chips have to be high performance so that they do not leak into or interfere with neighbouring bands. They also need to ensure data integrity and a low cost. The device under test here is an analogue device's low power, high performance 2FSK transceiver designed for operation in the ISM bands. It also has an onboard processor which can be controlled directly through SPI commands. The device sits atop this daughter board and can be controlled and powered via USB or controlled directly through the high speed digital I.O. lines and powered by the battery underneath. What was really fantastic about the VST in this project was that we were able to control the device and make RF measurements on a single FPGA chip. This allowed seamless and tight integration between the RF and digital domains you can really come to appreciate the value of this when you need to make several configuration changes and reiterate your RF tests. We used LabVIEW and the graphical system design approach for the software level of our project. The intuitive nature of LabVIEW allowed for rapid development as we could quickly turn our understanding of RF automated tests into a working LabVIEW application. Fundamentally, LabVIEW has tight integration with hardware. Out of the box, LabVIEW ships with a number of example projects, one of which we leveraged, VST Streaming. This gave us a platform to develop and provide access to the different components of the VST, the signal analyzer, the signal generator, and the FPGA. From here, we used the flexibility of LabVIEW, combining the example project with the modulation and spectral measurement toolkit to completely customize the software to our project requirements. Finally, LabVIEW FPGA module gave us access to the powerful FPGA chip for the RF measurement and the high speed device on the test control, while abstracting the complexity of the hardware description language. <laughs>